Hello there, Bunch of Faces here, and today I have yet another figure from another anime, but today it is Steins Gate, one of my overall favorite animes with its great plot, characters, art, design, and just everything in general, and they did not skip any details on this figure whatsoever. It is very nice. Um, of course, if you don't know, uh, if you've never seen Steins Gate, you probably won't know who this is, but this is uh, Okabe. Which is his real name, his alias, I believe, is uh, Kyoma or something. It's been a little while since I've watched it, but uh, it's a pretty nice detail figure. Uh, the the coat is like, or up here it's rubberish, down here it's plastic, so you can like adjust it. There's little hinges on the back, so you can do whatever you want with it, really. Any pose you want. I have him this on this like looking bag behind him. Kind of pose with uh, Future Gadget number two in his hand here, and uh, figure's pretty nice. The shirt is like a rubber. This is rubber. I might have said leather earlier, but that was my mistake. Uh, this is plastic. This is plastic. You know, uh, the slippers come off. I can show it right now, I guess. Uh, they usually don't stay on pretty well, but there they come off. And they just slide right back on. It's a little hard to get them on sometimes, but there we go. And uh, here's some nice... Uh, they, they detail this figure very well. Uh, accurate representation of the character itself. With great details. Um, it's My camera isn't really the best for this. Trying to get to focus. But... Uh, very nice details. Usually people have, even on bigger figures, problems uh, sculpting the faces and and whatnot, and even like little little details on, you know, stuff like this. But it looks fantastic. Uh, the character is pretty well done. Pretty happy with it in general. But of course, with any figures, they come with accessories and so on and so forth. Uh, these figures. This one and the other one I'm going to show in the next uh, video have these hands so they can go in the pocket, but which are just like little stubs, but it gives the illusion of their hand actually being in their pocket, which I think is pretty cool. It gives the good illusion right there. No music today, by the way. <laughs> but uh, you can also replace his feet with the his you know regular shoes or whatever. Uh, here's his right arm for putting it in his pockets. Uh, his regular hand, which is just the hands to uh, do poses like like that, which I tried to do. Uh, it was very very hard to do, so I ended up just going with the whole uh, like this one or whatever. I usually just pose them how they are on the back, but uh, this figure also comes with whoop, two face pieces. One like a very standard-ish face, the other a more dramatic face. Uh, his his cell phone to send the text messages into the past. Uh, this bracelet, which I don't remember being in the anime, it may be from the video game. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, she, he gives it to Kurisu or something. I don't. I don't remember it being in the anime, but there's that. Uh, there is also a special hand on this one uh, that is to go with the other figure I'm going to show off in the next video, which I believe is this hand. You can actually show it right here. Uh, these two figures go together. You can have them hold hands and whatnot. It's, I believe this is where he's giving her the bracelet she's wearing. But like I said, I don't ever remember him ever giving her a bracelet, but whatever. There's some more. There's a better look at the faces, I guess. Um, so I can't move my camera up without turning it off. There's some more poses you can do with them, whatever. I wanted him to hold feature gadget number two, so I ended up with this pose, which I like a lot. It looks really good. It looks really nice. They did a very great, they're very good job on the face. 
some of the figures that I have, the faces are a little, a uh, little, they, they could be better, but these are just fantastic in every way, shape, or form. Uh, let's see, I believe that's all of the main things. All the hands, you know, just if you have the fig, uh, Figma figure before, there's little pegs. Uh, one of these hands, see if I can find it, it's like a very, um, the hand was very, very loose and weak. I'm not sure what that was about. I believe it was one of the holding hands. Yeah, this one right here, it just, it's very, I don't know what this one's about. It's very, very flimsy. And I don't really have to even move it to for the peg to fall down. So I'm not sure if that was just mine or, or what it is, but... But very happy to figure. Uh, I'm, I left him in his little sandals because why not? You can put his shoes on, but I think uh, I think the slipper is a little bit more well known. I think he wears the slippers a lot. So, and like, like I said, for you haven't seen this anime, it is fantastic. Probably one of my top favorites. I wish the camera would focus on his face better. I'm trying to, trying to get it, but it doesn't look like it's gonna work. So there's that. And they all come with the stand and the little Figma bag and stuff. You know, whatever. To hold all of your, all of your goodies in. Like I said before, they didn't skip on any of the details on this figure. I need a new camera. This thing's old. Uh, yeah, these these little stub hands are pretty creepy, but once they actually go in the pocket themselves, they look they look pretty good. So you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, here's the bracelet again. Whoop! Oh, I dropped it. It's so it's really small too. Like. If you can see it right there, there it is. It's very small, and I don't know if he can actually hold it himself. I don't know what this is. I believe I s it said feature gadget number one, but I don't. I don't know. You can pose them in very many different ways, however you like. Uh, usually, I pose them in very signature poses, which I whoop whoop he fell over. Which is why I wanted to do that one, but that one just would not work out for me and disappointed me. He fell over. But he's fine. Feels very strange without music playing. But what are you going to do? There, there we go. There's a really good look at the face. Even got his stubble and all. Like I said, it looks really fantastic. The slippers are plastic, so. But getting them to stand on the actual stand can be a little troublesome sometimes, but. What are you gonna do? Let's see if I can get a better look at his phone here. Pretty good detail. Uh, very, very little details on the phone itself. Make it look really good. You can tell they put a lot of love into this figure. And the next one will be showing off. But I think that should be it for now. I've rambled all enough. I don't do figure reviews too often, so I'm not very used to them. Nor am I very good at them, but I like doing them. My camera's trying to recognize his face. Like I said before, if you haven't watched Steins Gate, I highly recommend it. It is fantastic. Especially if you like animes about time travel. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And I think that about sums things up. And I will see you on the next review.